It's the giant synonymous uh, with, what, changing up the high street, really, Amazon, isn't it, Ben? Uh, yes, uh, an interesting story today that Amazon have said that uh, today they will open the first of 10 stores across the country and it's a physical store. So we of course are used to talking about Amazon being the online retail giant. Um, and what it said it wants to do is allow some of the retailers, the smaller retailers that sell through its platform to get a physical presence. So you'll be able to walk in this shop pick up this stuff that they sell and walk out. It's a kind of reversal of what they've done uh, already to the high street. Now, a lot of criticism already that, look, this is just 10 stores across the country. Mm. Amazon synonymous with maybe changing our shopping habits and leading in no small part to the decline in our high streets. So a lot of suggesting that this is just too little too late. So we spoke to one organisation and, and it's an organisation that represents a number of high streets, about 40 towns up and down the country, to try and get more of us to support local business and this is what they told us about that move by Amazon to open some stores. Rather than a, a leg up from um, almost like a charity handout from a really big corporation who has played a massive part in the demise of the high street um, what small businesses want is a level playing field so they just want they want to be paying the same taxes they want the same rates to be paid by Amazon and then when that starts to happen they, they are they have got a fighting chance. Uh, so that's one view of Amazon's move. Now, what we're going to do in the next hour, I'm going to hot foot it across town because the first of these stores that Amazon are opening are in Manchester city centre. So traffic permitting. I heard you about trainers. Yeah, you wouldn't maybe, though, would you? I'm mean, a little bit out of breath <laughs> by the time I get there. But I'm going to go down to this store and have a look myself. Right, I'm okay. going to speak to the UK boss. So I'm going to hopefully join you from there, what, in about an hour's time if I can get Whoa. there. Um, and there's all sorts of things that I want to ask him because quite clearly a lot of headlines about Amazon, about its role in contributing mm. to the downfall of the high street. Also, whether it pays the right taxes, uh, Amazon says it does. A lot of critics say, well, you don't pay the same that you know high street stores, the likes of M&S and, uh, and W.H. Smith, all those big boots, all those sorts of firms say they pay much more to be on the high street and that makes it difficult for them. And also the conditions for some of the workers. There's been a lot of criticism about these robotic automated warehouses houses that keep too much of a track on their workers. Uh, so I'll speak to him in about an hour's time. Lots to talk to him about. Hopefully Thank you very much. join you from there. Well, let's hope the Manchester traffic allows. Yes. Regent Road, right, for well, those of you who have ever I'm driven going. in Manchester, Regent Road can be a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so. can I go? Set right, your time okay, now. Go, right, go, Ben. Go, right. fine. Right. See ya. Thank you. I'm sure uh, we're going to bring you loads of information today about uh, Donald Trump's state visit. He's due to arrive in about an hour's time, but right now, um, Ben, I wonder if he's managed to make it there. Uh, Amazon he moves has. onto the high street today with a number of physical shops across the UK. Uh, ben was telling us earlier, one of the first ones is opening up in Manchester. Ben was here, he's made it there, and he can have a little look round for us. Morning, Ben. Yeah, morning to you, as promised. Hot-footed it from over in the studio to here in central London. And this is one of the first, the first of ten pop-up shops that Amazon is launching up and down the country. And the point of them is to let some of the sellers that sell on its platform to sell in a physical store. It's a big turnaround, isn't it? We talk about Amazon being the online marketplace, but they've opened these. And have a look around. I mean, they're selling all sorts of things here, fragrances for the home, scooters. And they've said it's a point uh, to allow customers to come and touch and try and feel all this stuff, maybe to find out a bit about the companies that make the products. There might be an assumption that some of the stuff on the site is just made in China and then shipped here, but what it says is that it wants to support local businesses by allowing them to have a shop, let customers come in and try all the stuff. But of course, it's a big turnaround for Amazon because many have suggested that Amazon could be responsible for the downfall of the high street. So is that a fair criticism? Well, with me is Doug Gert, who is the UK boss of Amazon. Doug, good morning, nice to see you. Just explain to us who's here and why you've got this sort of shop because you know, you're an online retailer and you've opened a store on a high street in central Manchester. Why? Morning, Ben. Thanks for coming down this morning. Well, look, as you know, an awful lot of what we do on Amazon is provide services to small independent businesses. In fact, more than half of everything you buy on Amazon actually comes from small independent businesses, like many of the ones you see here today. And many of those businesses came to us, along with professional partners like Enterprise Nation, who we're working with here, and they said, you know what, I've got a great online business, but I'd love to have a go at high street retailing. So that's what this is. It's a first. Uh, it's not an Amazon store. But what you see here is a number of our marketplace sellers. We've got 10 great independent businesses, many of them, you know, local here in Manchester, who are going to try it out and see how it goes. Uh, it's a trial. 
We'll give it a go for a month. We'll see how the customers react. What do you expect to hear from this trial? Because the entire business model that you have at Amazon is a, is a model that means it's easy, it's convenient, it's cheap to do it online. These things cost, don't they? Stores on the high streets cost lots of money in rent and rates, but you're saying you can make that work in the way that some retailers maybe can't. Well, I think the whole idea is to actually take some great online businesses and give them a chance to actually have a go at physical retail in an affordable way. And we've seen, for example, many of our online businesses, businesses like Assai Records, which is a fantastic record shore from up in Stirling in Scotland, who said to us, you know, we've done so well online, we're actually going to try and open physical stores. And the reason they do that is because actually online's great. We all love that. It's convenient. It's fast. But there are some things you can only do here on the high street, and that's about the experience. It's about touch it's about feeling and it's also about discovering new customers so we've heard that again as I say from businesses like Assai Records or a business like Lavolio which is a fantastic confectionery business that they said we'd now like to open a physical store what we've tried to do here is respond to those questions from our sellers and say can you help us to do it in an easy affordable way um, when we talk about what customers want um, and Many customers will say, look, I want to support my local high street. I want to go in there and shop. I still want to have a place to go and pick up things. But the reality is we just don't do it, do we? We prefer to use companies like yours because it's cheaper and it's easier and it's much more convenient. I mean, how do we breathe life back into the high street? Well, I think in my experience, customers sort of want what they've always wanted. They want fantastic products, they want them at a fair price, and they want them in a convenient way. And if you're doing a really good job of that, what you'll find today is I think most best retailers are doing a little bit of online and a little bit of offline. It's not really a competition between the two. Excuse me. <clears throat> there are some things you can do brilliantly online. There are other things you can do brilliantly in the high street. And I think what we're trying to do here is say, how do we take, in this case, fantastic small, independent online businesses and help them make their first steps into offline retail. One of the biggest problems for uh, traditional retailers, though, of course, is business rates. Those set by the government, that has nothing to do with you. One of the biggest issues, though, that they have with you is when it comes to tax. You, as Amazon, don't pay the right amount of tax in the UK, do you? It's not a level playing field when we compare what you pay versus the likes of Marks and Spencer, WH Smith and Boots. But well, we pay all the taxes we're required to pay here in the UK and, of course, in every country in which we operate around the world. But I, but I think if I step back a bit, what you're really asking is, are we giving enough back? And I think we are. I think we've invested here over £9 billion in the UK. We've created tens of thousands of jobs. And perhaps most importantly, we've supported hundreds of thousands of small independent businesses, just like the ones you see today, helping them become successful, grow here, not just in the UK, but actually export their products all around the world. Yeah, I mean, the question I did want to ask, so you're right, is about tax, because I'm just looking at some of the numbers here. Last year, Amazon paying £4.6 million in tax in the UK. Uh, M&S paid £65 million. Tesco paid £100 176 million. You paid just 4.6 and actually you deferred some of that so you ended up paying 1.7. That's not fair is it? Well again I think what you come back to is are we giving enough back and I think we are. As I say we've invested well over nine billion pounds, we've created tens of thousands of jobs here in the UK and also most importantly what we are doing is providing the tools and supportives to help hundreds of thousands of small businesses just like the ones you see today grow their businesses supporting customers not just here in the UK but actually export these great products all around the world. OK, Doug, it's good to talk to you. Thanks Thank so much. much. Doug Gurr there, who's the head of Amazon here in the UK. Uh, so this place, as we said, now open for a few weeks. Uh, different retailers can come and go, uh, and they can get a chance to show some of their products to customers, physical products. Just this one here, they make leather goods uh, made up in the northeast, just near Newcastle. Yes, That's right. Uh, so made right there in Newcastle and then sold all over the world. They use Amazon to sell it to different retailers, but uh, I was surprised to learn this morning that made in the northeast. Uh, so uh, more from us a little later. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brenda. Glad you made it all the way to St.